The connecting and communicating your innovation plan assignment is perhaps one of the most important assignments that you will do, not just in 5305, but in all of the ADL program, because it sets a precedent in terms of pulling together all the ideas that you've done over the entire course into one single page or post where you summarize and compile and wrap up all your ideas and present a cohesive plan. This is your innovation plan. This is important for 5305, the uh, innovation planning course, because you um, will create a final page and send that page to your intended audience, whether it is a person in administration, a principal, a manager, or a curriculum committee, or some other group of people who will be reviewing your idea. The one single link to your innovation plan shares with them all the components of that innovation plan. Those components include a very clear vision of what your plan will be. Um, and that vision is going to be shared in your video. That video should be at the very top of the compilation page. And then following that short video and maybe a short paragraph and, and summary type of a perspective on the vision, you then point to your innovation proposal and provide a link to your innovation proposal. You include a short summary of your literature review that shares the evidence for what you're planning to do. And you have a link to that literature review. Uh, you then include a short summary paragraph, a few sentences to your innovation um, implementation outline, which provides a, a timeline and an overview of what you're really planning to do in terms of a point form summary. Uh, and you've got a link to that implementation outline as well. Uh, you also include a link to an annotated uh, bibliography, which is a list of resources you're planning to look at, whether it's books and articles, to show your audience that you are actually going to be continuing to investigate these ideas. All these pieces come together to form your innovation plan. That plan uh, is on a page or a post on your ePortfolio that you share with your intended audience. So your plan is everything included that you've done in this entire uh, course. This is a similar thing that you're going to have to do in every other course in the ADL program. In the final week, you're going to pull together a wrap-up or a compilation post that summarizes all the key ideas, whether it is in the ePortfolio course where you pull together all the pieces of your ePortfolio uh, development, the blogging that you've done, summarizing your investigation into the growth mindset and a variety of other things. Every course has a compilation post that must be created. So you're establishing a pattern in this first course that you will then continue to do in all other courses. Now, we also ask you to ensure that your page or post uh, provides some sort of a navigational type of a structure. And, you know, it's on your ePortfolio, so you have to have some form of navigation. And you also have to make it easy for your audience to be able to access all the information. So all the links that you should actually uh, share with your audience should go to um, pages or ePortfolio posts on your ePortfolio that open in the same window and don't cause your audience to download a, a PDF or point to a Google Doc. You want to ensure that everything is integrated seamlessly into your ePortfolio. Now, I, I've explained what you need to do and talked about the importance, and perhaps now it would be useful to share some examples uh, of previous student work. Since you're new to the ADL program, I'll remind you to go to um, my ePortfolio page for a lot of the supplemental resources like the um, ADL program map page. So you go to that on my website, open up the ADL program map, and then you will see um, an example of you know the different reading lists, the goals and table, uh, the goals and three column tables for the different courses, and perhaps uh, most importantly for the context that we're talking about this video, um, links to assignment examples. Okay, and on that assignment example page, you'll see a uh, an offering of previous student work. There's quite a bit. Um, and it's set up in such fashion that you're going to be looking at the final uh, innovation plan link. And then there, it is also broken into, you know, the, the actual proposal and uh, the literature review and implementation outline. So you've got a variety of examples. I'm simply going to point to the final innovation plan because then you can see how all, how the other pieces fit. Uh, one of the first examples I'm going to point to has perhaps one of the best video 
uh, visions of uh, that we have had shared in the ADL program. This is a wonderful video, very unique, conveys a wonderful vision and idea for the whole notion of the makerspace. So this video is then followed by an, uh, a short summary about the innovation proposal, uh, literature review summary and link, implementation summary and link, and annotated bi bibliography. Now, I have to caution you, um, this this is one of the best examples of a video, but some of the, uh, there are some challenges with this post. Um, there's different size fonts, um, that are issues. Um, and, you know, it, it, it doesn't flow as well as it could be. So you want to have a consistent look and feel. Um, the reason I'm sharing this is to show you that uh, an example uh, might highlight one thing. And I'll try to sort of identify where an example uh, really excelled and where it didn't. Uh, another example is, uh, again, very simple, clean innovation uh, uh Proposal starting off with a wonderful video and then just simply a short summary, one sentence summary of the different links, uh, you know, innovate, uh, the innovation proposal, literature review, implementation outline, um, and the continued learning, which is the annotated bibliography. Um, another wonderful example, and this is really a, a top notch example, um, is, uh, uh, a simple video providing a context for new learning, uh, the new learning environment, uh, a couple of paragraphs to create the context, link to the innovation proposal, link to literature review, link to the implementation outline, and readings and reflections. So again, very, very thorough job on this particular example. Um, another wonderful example, um, creates a context at the beginning, link to a video. Uh, in this particular example, I, I encourage a student to actually have the video in a bigger context, but they decided that they wanted to follow, sort of follow this format of text, image, text, image, so on and so forth. So um, again, you can see the same type of a scenario. One of the challenges here is that you've got a variety of font sizes, different font sizes. Um, some of the text here is a little bit too light, a little bit too small. Um, this is very difficult to read. So be be careful about that. While this is a wonderful example, there's always some challenges with that. Another example um, is, uh, again, starts out with a nice video centered on the page. You've got a context for the video. You've got the innovation proposal section, context for that innovation proposal, link to it, literature review, summary, link to the literature review, implementation outline summary, annotated bibliography. Simple, organized, it allows your audience to see um, and go directly to ideas that they want to expand on. But the key thing is that the video creates a context. Another example is, uh, uh, this particular student who's got a really interesting uh, video, uh, they've got a summary of um, the whole idea of what they're planning to do. They've got a synopsis linked to this link to the particular uh, innovation plan, literature review, implementation uh, outline and annotated bibliography. Clean, easy to follow, very, very simple to follow along. This presents an entire plan that really shares a vision and points to what the individual is planning to do. Hopefully you will find these examples uh, useful and the summary useful as you work on your innovation uh, plan and all the components.